Mm. Okay, I've showed you how to water seedlings. And now the next thing is to look at how to reduce the need for watering out in the garden. And here mulch really comes into it. Um, you have to be careful with mulch because, I mean, it's wonderful stuff when in hot weather, hot dry weather. So I watered the, this bed thoroughly and then next thing I put down was a layer of uh, well-rotted manure composted well composted so there's the soil underneath that soil is well watered layer of compost on top and then on top of that a layer of strawy material this in fact is reeds and so what that means is that the moisture that's in that soil will stay in that soil and we've had some very dry weather recently and so I decided to do this um, in order to save me watering but if the weather really turns and we get a lot of rainy weather if I start to see slug damage I'm going to take this top layer straight back off again because the downside of mulching is the slugs and so it's very much here in our British climate it's very much a matter of sort of walking that tightrope between on the one hand things drying out and on the other hand things getting massacred by slugs. And here on this side there's a small patch of broad beans. These I sowed last autumn and this spring I put down just the same water, compost and then the, the reeds on top, strawy material to keep that moisture in, so I won't need to water them again. Now the thing with plants which, of which we eat the seed or the fruit, like beans, squashes and courgettes, things like that, the time to water them is when they're flowering, because that's when they really need water. And if you get plenty of water then, or when they're just beginning to form their pods or their squashes or whatever, their, their fruit, that, that's the time to water. No point watering before that. Well. I always like to use rainwater if at all possible because it's pure, got no chemicals or anything in it. And of course, you know, ecologically you're saving on the pressure on the main system. This is my rain butt here, which collects water off the roof, 1,000 litres. And up there, there is a filter which takes out all the gunk so that just pure water goes in. I would really advise people to get the largest uh, water butt they can. And this is a, a th thousand litre IBC, which just about fits in here. And uh, because a normal water butt will finish very quickly in a bit of hot weather, uh, whereas something like this will go on for much longer. And um, try and store it as high up as you can. It, the layout of my garden, one story house, it's impossible to lay it out in such a way that you can use a hose pipe. But if you can get it high up, then you can use a hose pipe instead of a watering can, which is great. If I do run out of rainwater, what I do is I put uh, tap water into buckets and just leave it there for overnight so that the chlorine can outgas, because I don't want chlorine on my lovely organic soil killing all the microbes. <laughs>